going on guys welcome back to yet another video it's your boy Jim graphics in today's video i'll be teaching you guys how to design an easter good friday flyer in corridor If you're new here consider subscribing by clicking on the red button below and turn on the bell icon in order not to miss any of my future upload coming over here guys and this is the text we'll be working with and over here are the stock images we'll be working with so i'm going to put the link of all those in the down description below so without wasting any further of your time guys let's get straight to the video come to current draw guys so the size we'll be working with is five by five inches so you make sure your unit is checked on inches okay so this is what we're going to have now so the next thing i'm going to do is import the stock images by right clicking over here select import so you can actually go to file and locate import so it's going to like bring up this and locate where your files are saved all right so once you do that select all and click on import now basically just drop them over here all right so we're gonna highlight all and place them over here now the next thing i'm gonna do is bring in my rectangle i'm gonna use my rectangle to draw a box and fill it with um, change the size to five by five and click enter okay so you know as we normally do we remove the outline okay or the stroke so the next thing i'm gonna do guys is basically import my text okay i'm going to select all ctrl a to select all and ctrl c to copy and ctrl v come over here and select your text ctrl v to paste all right so this is what you're going to have so i'm going to reduce the size and place that here for now okay guys so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to color this red okay so this is like a very sharp red so i'm to reduce the uh, capacity of this red to a dark like a maroon color so i'm going to like double click on this icon here and once i do that this is going to come up so um, select your color viewer and just change your color model to rgb and um, you can basically drag it to those points all right so this is fine and the next thing i'm going to do guys is bring in this um background all right so i'm gonna return this this way and um, scale this up this way okay so the next thing i'm gonna do now is right click on it and select power clip inside so once you do that this arrow is gonna come up place it inside by right clicking on it now um right click again and select edit power clip to edit this background in here so i'm um basically we're going to add um a blur effect to this and so to do that go to your effect on your menu bar select blur and use guardian blur now this is what you're going to have so you can just basically say okay you can use my settings 47 by 0.1 pixels so click okay and basically reduce this for now this way now the next thing you're going to do is use the transparency tool and fade out this part this way okay and this is what you are going to have now click on finish and next thing i'm going to do is bring in this background click on shift page up to bring it forward and now place it over here and select right click on it and select edit power clip and place it inside here now right click again and select edit power clip all right so once you do that use your transparency to and fade out this part as you can see it's so sharp all right so that it's going to blend with the background now this is what you are going to have now click on finish and basically leave it to that and the next thing we're going to do is bring in this background and place that here all right bring it to forward all right so this is what you're going to have now use your um transparency to and fade out this part this way all right and convert it to bitmap and i told you guys once you're trying to like 
um, fade out uh, something, an object, a multiple side in Corel Draw. You need to like bitmap it, convert it to bitmap. All right. Use your RGB and fade out this part also. Go back, convert to bitmap, and select RGB as color mode. Now fade out this upper part this way. Convert to bitmap. Now the next thing I'm going to do is also on your transparency to go back to go to your blend mode and once you locate your blend mode um, select on um, overlay and this is what you're going to have basically for now so um, now right click on it and select power clip inside once you do that this area is going to come up place it inside this frame and leave that to that okay so I'm gonna like try to make this red color a bit dark all right so this is what you're going to have basically so i'm going to edit this and scale it up this way and place that up here all right so this is what we are going to have now the next thing we're going to do guys is bring in this back this background this image right here and um, use your transparency to and fade out this edge now bitmap it convert it to bitmap all right so highlight this side and fade it out also all right draw this way and fade it out convert to bitmap also now also drag here and blend this to the background now this is basically what you're going to have so scale this up this way and leave that to that now right click on it and select power clip to place it inside this frame and this is what you're going to have guys so the next thing i'm going to do guys is bring in the logo all right i'm going to basically paste this here because this is the logo we're working with and um the next thing we're going to do guys is place this over here and um let's zoom and reduce this all right so once you do that place it to the middle and the next thing we're going to do is bring in this text copy the church name Cut it, Ctrl X to cut, then Ctrl V to paste. All right, so I'm gonna keep this here. The next thing I'm gonna do is double click on it, use Ctrl A to highlight or use Shift F3 on your keyboard to change the case to uppercase, which is capital letter. Now press on Ctrl E to make it center alignment, or you can come over here basically horizontal alignment. Once you do that, you can see central alignment the shortcut that i said is Control e all right so the next thing i'm going to do is change the font to bentley don't worry guys i'm going to put the link of all those fonts in the down description below so you're going to check it out and make use of them okay so now the next thing i'm going to do guys is use my drop shadow tool and apply a shadow here so select your drop shadow tool and um, drag this way all right so make sure it's here all right it's aligned very well then you can use this this um i don't know what it's called though so just use this line here and just you know this boy use it and increase or decrease the opacity all right this is what you are going to have so the next thing i'm going to do guys is come over here and copy this the team the main team for this and let's zoom up so the next thing i'm going to do guys is i'm going to change the font of this text to this all right so i'm going to put the link of all this in the down description so you can check it out Okay guys, so this is the font we'll be working with. So the next thing I'm going to do is break this text apart. Alright, so I'm going to break this apart this way. And break this apart. So the next thing I'm going to do is highlight all and use Shift F3 to change to uppercase. Now select Ctrl K on your keyboard to break this apart, leaving you with this. Okay, so basically what we're going to do now is I'm going to scale this up this way now use your shape tool and once you select your shape tool and your text is high uh, selected 
you see this two stuff here just use this one to like decrease or increase the spacing all right so this is what you are going to have once you do that now the next thing we're going to do guys is let's scale this up and put it to the middle and the next thing i'm going to do is use your envelope tool all right select your envelope tool so guys if you know if you notice in correct draw on the tools you will see we have some arrows here so this arrow means that there is something there are more tools hidden inside so once you click on this arrow you will see so here if you can't find the envelope tool, what you're going to do is just basically click on this arrow here under the shadow and you're going to see it or locate it now select your envelope tool click on the text delete this node as you can see we have two nodes here so basically delete them delete this one and delete this one now highlight this and right click on it select convert it to line do the same thing to this convert it to line and basically draw this this way drag this this way and um, drag this one this way this is what you're going to have now make sure this is converted to curve okay so once it's converted to curve just drag it up and also drag this one up this way so basically guys this is what you are going to have so the next thing i'm going to do guys is bring in this text the cross and place this over here all right guys so this is what you are going to have so basically now what we're going to do is also use our shape tool to reduce the spacing this way all right so once you do that same thing applicable to this one use your um envelope to drag this way delete this node delete this node you can play with it anyhow you want if you want to add node and do it this way anyhow you want to play with the text you can play with it so basically based on this tutorial we are deleting the node and converting it to line okay right click convert to line right click convert to line why i'm converting it to line is because i don't want this shape this um, corner here to have like a curve okay so it should be straight so now draw this this way and drag this this way this is what you're going to have so basically drag this up and drag this one up all right so now this is what you're going to have so place this down here and once you do that you can scale this up a bit and bring this down to this point all right this is what you are going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is give this an outline or a stroke let's give it a black stroke right click on it and select this give it this black stroke to increase those um, the weight of this outline press f12 on your keyboard so once you do that some keyboard does not work this way so if you can't do this if your f12 is not working just double click on this icon here it's the same thing it will bring out the outline pen option okay so once you do that make sure this um this stuff is changed to points selected at point now you can increase the, the the width to maybe three all right then select make sure your behind field is checked and select round corner here and click ok so this is so this is what you're going to have now basically apply the same thing to this all right so give it an outline So basically do the same thing, increase to three points and cool, you're good to go with this. All right, so let's bring this down a bit. Okay guys, so this is what you're going to have. Now, what we're going to do is select this power and um, basically go to objects and select convert outline to objects. So once you convert outline to objects, your stroke or your outline and your fill here is separated okay you do the same with this all right so the shortcut is shift control shift q all right so basically now this is what you're going to have so the next thing i'm going to do now is select um my interactive field tool and draw this way on the outline not the field the outline okay once you do that this is what you're going to have so basically i'm going to apply this gray um color here and basically just click and drag colors click drag this way click and drag this way then apply some level of percentage of gray on it just basically anyhow you want it guys anyhow you want it so i think um basically let's be fine 
with this okay as you can see it's creating some effect to the text to the text all right so this is what basically what you're going to have so the next thing i'm going to do guys is just copy this i'm going to right click on this outline and copy the the, the outline color to this and select this okay so once you do that it will apply itself to this place it's basically right clicking on it once you right click don't right click just right click and hold it and drag it to this one then leave it so it will bring this option copy fill here so once you copy fill it will apply to the second one so now what we're going to do is basically same thing use the interactive fill tool and now apply to the fill that's the white one so what we're going to do is basically add um, uh, a gray okay let's add some gray color to this one all right double click here to add a node and put this to white now come to your property bar and select elliptical fountain view that is the cycle one okay so you can leave that to this all right so this is what you're going to have so now basically what we're going to do is right click and drag to copy the view to this one okay so this is what you are going to have all right so this is what you're going to have guys so you can just play around it to your taste all right so the next thing i'm going to do guys is add a shadow to it so as i told you basically we can't find the shadow so just when, when you know where it's located just go there click on this arrow and click and select your shadow all right so once you do that drag this way and increase the opacity using this and what you're going to do basically is reduce the feathering to something let's say 12 so once you do that all right select the shadow and click on ctrl k on your keyboard all right to break the shadow apart so once you do that just basically drag this down this way so to add a shadow to it so somebody asked me on, the, on my whatsapp he was like um is this a 3d it looks like a 3d but it's not 3d though you know it's kind of a 3d effect so reduce the the feathering and um, basically break apart so and bring this down this way and basically guys as you can see this is what you are going to have so once you do that guys now select um select your shape too and basically right click on it or before then it can work this way so what you're going to do is um right click on it and convert it to curve so once you do that this text now is now an object now select your shape and um, delete this and leave that to that all right this is what you are going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is basically select this um right click on it and break it apart all right break cover apart. so once you break your cover apart, as you can see this um the r here the r letter here um something is wrong with it it has broken apart so as you can see now just right um, select only the r and click on ctrl l to bring it back to shape all right so once you do that now what you're going to do basically is just reduce this this way all right and give it a yellow color and once you do that bring in this one and place it here and give it this red color here so this is what you're going to have now scale this up this way all right so this is basically what you're going to have if you don't understand this guys just drop me a comment in the comment section below and i'm going to reply you to that so the next thing i'm going to do is use my um my freehand tool and um, draw this way all right draw this way basically okay guys so this is what we're going to have just scale this this way and um, select your freehand tool again and draw another line here all right draw another line now as you can see it's not placed well just use your shape tool and 
bring it to this point all right guys so this is what you're going to have now draw another one here and leave that to that all right so this is what basically what you're going to have now give this a yellow color all right give this one also a yellow color but what we're going to do is add a bit black to it all right a little bit of black to it this way so once you do that click on ok now this one basically do the same thing give it a darker color all right this way so this is what you are going to have once you're done with all this now remove select all and remove the outline all right as you can see guys this is what you're going to have so guys the next thing i'm going to do is select all and click on ctrl g to group everything apart now use your ctrl plus page down to bring it backward this way all right so once you're done with that just bring it down a bit and select this text place it over here then give it this red color all right and bring this down this way so basically if you want to like um reshape your side your text once you scale this up as you can see it's not aligning with this um banner we have here so just click on it again the anchor points will change use this one directly the one the two arrow the one pointing up and down just drag it this way and this is what you're going to have now leave this to this so the next thing i'm going to do guys is bring in my um my light play effect place this here you can see it's behind so use your shift page up and bring it forward so once you do that you can see guys it's going out of the frame so use your um shape tool to highlight it and bring it inside all right inside the frame and um, use your transparency to go to your blend mode and select screen all right so basically this is what you're going to have as you can see is blending with the background all right so this is what you are going to have so bring in this one also and place it over here use your shift page up to bring it forward all right so select and um, use your shape tool to bring it inside the frame all right guys use your transparency to select it use your transparency to go to blend mode and select screen okay guys this is basically what you're going to have you can scale this down a bit all right so this is basically what you're going to have now the next thing i'm going to do guys is well first of all guys as you can see we have um like a sharp corner here so what you're going to do is change it to normal and first of all blow this part fade it out and convert it to bitmap convert this side also and um, just fade it up now go back to your blend mode and click on your screen and as you can see it's now no more all right so the next thing i'm going to do guys is use my freehand tool um, basically draw draw something like this all right so once you're done with that give it a yellow color and remove the outline now apply a blur effect to it use Gaussian blur all right guys so this is what you're going to have so once you do that basically drop it behind using shift page up page down sorry now bring it up a bit using shift page up so this is what you're going to have and leave that to that all right so guys this is what you are going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is bring in this text copy select and cut paste it over here now use ctrl k on your keyboard to break it apart now change the font to vently i'm going to put the link i'm going to put the names of all these as i told you in the down description below so um, highlight it and use shift f3 change it to uppercase give it a yellow color and scale this up a bit and um, you can use your shape to select this and as i told you is used to like change 
or increase or decrease the, the spacing between the text all right guys so this is what you're going to have now i'm going to select this and place this over here and leave that to that for now all right guys so this is what you're going to have so i'm going to select this date of ours and place this over here all right now select this date change the font to bentley all right scale this up a bit and make sure it's aligned to the middle all right guys so you can leave that to that bring in your address and place it over here now highlight and use ctrl e to give it the center alignment all right so this is what you're going to have guys now scale it to those points and leave that to that now what i'm going to do guys is bring in some icons so guys i'm going to drop this here and um, basically reduce this and place it over here now what you're going to do guys is bitmap it and um, go to bitmap select blend mode black and white and leave that to load so once you're done go back to trace bitmap outline trace and line art so allow this to load basically so once you're done select specify color and bring this to this point delete this one now ungroup it and delete the particles you don't want that is the white colors we don't want them now highlight and group it give it a white color and um, basically place it to this place all right this is what you're going to have now do the same to this blend mode outline and select trace bitmap outline trace and line art allow this to load also and once it's done boom a preview is going to come up so select this and delete this one delete this now give it a white color and um, place this over here all right guys basically this is what you're going to have and um so guys this is how to design an easter good friday flyer in Corel draw if you're new here guys you know the rules don't forget to ask questions like this video share with your friends and um, see you in my next video